Hey y'all, it is June the 24th at 2024. My face is turning purple sometimes. All right, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, y'all, this is a second installment of Gerard is on fire. That's when uh, Gerard does his best. That would be me to um, impersonate, if you will, Alex Jones and him being on fire. And I try to do it as fast as possible. Why? Because I don't have much time. And number two, because you don't probably have much time either, all right? But you might want to hear about this here stuff, all right? So uh, number one, Kim.com was on the Alex Jones show. You might want to check it out. You might want to check it out every day, all right? I, wanna, I don't want to peer pressure you. But he was on there talking about just how fucked we are. The U.S. currency, here's the thing. We already know it. We already well know it. We already well know it, but a guy like Kim.com is going to let you know there is no getting around how fucked we are concerning our currency and how that's going to have an unbelievable impact, an unpredictable in impact, if you will, on our society. All right, he says, also, and he brings it up, in case if you didn't know, Donald Trump included, there is not one... RFK included, not one presidential candidate who's being very honest about this fact. You might say, well, that's a black pill type of thing. That's a real downer. So, it's, you know, it might not be good for people to be honest about the fact that we're fucked when it comes to our currency, right? And it's bad already, gonna get much more bad, right? Number two, Julian Assange, if you hadn't heard, it's all over the place, is perhaps striking a plea deal, right? Which which he has to say, oh, he's guilty of this and that, and they're going to let him out of jail. Um, thing is, of course, there's probably some sort of uh, tomfoolery in the background, like there always is. I want to hear, I want to hear about this in particular, because I don't know, I have no clue. What do you think is going to happen? You think? Julian Assange is going to get out and be a free man walking around Australia all uh, hunky-dory? Is that what you think? What do you think happens if he gets out? If he does get out, what do you think is going to happen to old Julian? All right, and I wish him the best. Obviously, He's a damn hero and everybody knows it. Number three, fruit appeal. Here's the thing. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, here's the thing. Fruit Appeal, go to appeal.com if you hadn't heard of it. You can even catch them on X, x.com. They got a, they got their own little thing, and um, they're ducking and dodging and diving. I don't know if you heard about these fruits and vegetables that are coming out all rubbery. People are buying them, buying blueberries, buying avocados, buying watermelons, and all sorts of stuff, bananas. It's gone viral on the internet, and they're like trying to break it, trying to snap it and break it, can't do it. Why? Because it's all rubbery. They're like, dude, how come my vegetables and my damn fruit is made out of silicon now? What is this? Fake alien fruit. And uh, Alex Jones pointed out, and I do believe he's right, because there's people hitting them up on X.com, and they're ducking and dodging and diving. All right, they're fact-checking and everything. Um... Alex Jones said, man, when you put on this appeal stuff, it's supposed to be a second skin to your fruit and vegetables make it supposed to last longer. And, oh, it's going to be better for the globe. And we're going to just do this. And we're going to do this and hope you don't notice. And if you do notice, we're going to say it's a good thing, right? But your fruit and your vegetables might come out all rubbery. Earlier, I had a, bought a watermelon, a whole watermelon, because, you know, it's much, 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 much cheaper than the cut-off watermelon some reason. I guess people just don't own knives anymore. I bought a whole one and uh, I was doing what I do with it, getting all prepped and everything like that. And even even I, I made sure that the watermelon snapped, you know, the, the skin, the outer crust of it. And I snapped it just to make sure it snaps and wasn't all rubbery. You need to check out for that appeal sticker because apparently uh, the appeal logo, which, we, here, hold on one second. Um, the Appeal logo. First of all, you know they're going to duck and dodge and dive, right? But check out this logo, Appeal. If you see that, 
absolutely run away from that. That's alien technology. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It seems fairly obvious uh, that they're trying to kill us in a million ways. But, okay, long story short, uh, and this is a principle that will last well throughout the calling of America, is that the poor countries and poor indigenous people would be better served with an infrastructure in which they grew locally their vegetables and all sort of stuff and their fruits. If they grew it locally, they would be better served than that instead of shipping the poor people, because that's what y'all claim y'all do, shipping them month old fruits and vegetables, oh, to keep them alive and stuff. Oh, it's to keep the poor people alive. And it's to keep us alive, apparently, huh? Doesn't make any sense, huh? Somebody pointed out on X.com, they said, hey, you know, this is just going to be a poor excuse for the people who deliver us the fruit and vegetables to, to take three times longer to deliver it to us. And, and sure enough, we're going to get rotted uh, avocados and everything like that. People put out their testimonials. They're trying to poison the, the crap out of us, all right? In a million different ways. That's just another way. Uh, I, I just put down San Antonio. It's a, a driving death trap, and it is. All right. But however, I have a feeling that where you're at, it's a driving death trap as well. People don't give an F anymore. And I do blame it on the uh, actual the car insurance because people think, oh, I got car insurance. Oh, I got this driver's license. That means I know what I'm doing. No, the hell you do not. And, and that's the thing about it. Even if you do know how to drive, that's what I got to stress. And I've stressed it to everyone who will listen to me. It doesn't matter that you know how to drive. It doesn't matter until you recognize and fully appreciate that they're mother effing retards on the road. And they're going to F you up no matter if you're driving. Oh, you're following all the rules. They're going to F you up. Understand that. And once you fully understand that, you can actually defensive drive. Like I, I just went to H-E-B earlier. That's a grocery store. Not far away from the house. I come out of the, the grocery store. And sure enough, there's an accident at the intersection. Right? Because just it, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere all the time. All right? And so as I'm getting closer to the accident at the intersection, I have to actually go through that intersection. Somebody does some weird U-turn thing, almost hits me. Here's the thing. If I was one of these guys like, oh, I'm following the rules and I'm going to do everything right. That mother effer would have hit me, period. It's just the fact is that I know people are stupid, retarded on the road. And I act accordingly, all right? I can't afford to get in an accident type stuff, all right? So um, also, I do have some pictures that I just took, like I, like I just brought up. If you see that symbol... And, and you got to really check. They're going to put it under stickers. They're going to do whatever it takes for you to not see this sticker. They don't want you to know that it's happening. They don't want you to know that they were previously funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They don't want you to know any of that. All right, check this out. These tweaked out meth heads. Check out the top left. I'm calling her Monica Marie. I know that's Sharon Stone. Come on, don't get it twisted. And uh, actually, the guy on the bottom left, that's thats not, he's not involved. That was just part of my ex-feed. All right, but these three tweakers and some other tweaker, uh, they were like kidnapping folks. They like kidnapped four young adult males at a hotel or something recently near downtown. That's just how it's going in San Antonio. This is the hotel in which the kidnapped people were being held kidnapped. All right, there's another picture of them. Three Texas cities, including, this is what I just mentioned, including San Antonio, are among the worst of drivers. Well, I certainly hope so, because if it gets worse than this, it's like Mad Max out there. If it gets worse than this, this is unbelievable. You can't go anywhere. If it rains in San Antonio, guaranteed. Guaranteed there's going to be two, three different accidents that you had to pass by in particular if you happen to get on a highway. Right? It is going to happen. Uh, SAPD says one person dead and others injured after a slew of San Antonio shootings. You know, it might not be a big deal, but people are getting shot up and down left and right here in San Antonio. There's a slew of them happening all the time. They try not to mention it, but uh, but amongst other things, there's like a group of 
maybe a dozen teenagers randomly going to different spots in the city and shooting people up randomly. Okay, but it's not really a big deal or nothing or else they would be talking about it more. Um, San Antonio Church. Hey, we might end on this. I think this might be the, the last one. Well, check this out. Robot bartender to serve up drinks in San Antonio's newest bar slash cafe. Uh, whatever the, the, their newest bar slash cafe, the thing is, it was also described as a gym. All right? It was also described, or maybe they have two. Maybe it's two robot bartenders. Uh, there's no need for um, humans to mix your drink. There's no need to know what the hell's in your drink as well. Um, check this out. We're going to end on this one. San Antonio Church deemed a habitual noise violator has his speaker his speakers confiscated by the city. All right? You, you don't have to have Muslims over here doing the, the call to prayer or anything like that. The churches are, are on the west side. They don't give a damn. And uh, the thing is, I don't know if this is true, but they're quoting the guy. They're supposedly quoting him. Check this out. Uh, uh, check this out. Like some people are like saying, "Hey, I respect the church. I respect people's religion," but you're going over the line. It's been happening for over a year. It seems over a year, people have been complaining like, "We need this gone. This is unbelievable. People have to work and stuff like that," and you're just like going over the line. Okay, so check out this quote from Oliveras, who apparently is the preacher or whatever, or the person who runs the church. Check this out. It says, Olive, Oliveras right here said, he isn't backing down from his previous statement. A statement I guess he made like a year ago. He said, when he said, if the people don't like the noise, get this, buy us out, otherwise shut the hell up. The pastor of the local church on the west side said, if you don't like it, then I'm waking you up every day or just being inconvenient to you. Buy us out or shut the hell up. That's what the pastor said. Buy us out or shut the hell up. That's what he said. And he's like reiterating it. <laughs> that's nuts. But anyways, that's it. Well, actually, I was going to say that's it for uh, Gerard on Fire. I mean, these aren't going to be too long. But just for the nitty gritty, if you want to look it up, look everything up, dude. I'm not making any of this up. San Antonio teenager threatened mass violence before purchasing a firearm. And of course, yeah, he's not going to be the only one. He's not going to be the only one this week, probably. I, these kids have zero to live for. Zero to live for, I repeat. They have zero to live for. This is Gerard on Fire. Um, June the 24th, 2020, 2024.